First at four, a dress theme for Spirit Week at Forest Hills Northern High School has stirred up questions and concerns from community members. News Ace Megan Bunchman spoke with concerned parents and school leaders and she joins us now with this story. Megan. Emily and Sue, when students return to class next week at Forest Hills Northern, they're encouraged to participate in Spirit Week with a different themes planned for each day. But what was originally called Black History Month Spirit Week raised questions and concerns from parents who thought that the chosen themes were a bit tone deaf. Spirit Weeks at high schools and grade schools are common. Sometimes schools celebrate rivalry games. <laughs> times they honor different cultures but this week's husky highlights noted that the school's black history month spirit week would include a jersey day hoodie trayvon martin day and a y2k day focusing on baggy clothing parents like deanna chris became upset it's just a thug look that was not a representation of our heritage and who we are um, as I indicated, we're inventors, we're billionaires, we're uh, people that have so much more to offer and has offered to this country. Her concerns and others were notable enough for Northern High to then send out an additional email to clarify any confusion. In it, it said, quote, the verbiage Black History Month Spirit Week was an error. It should have said Black Student Union Spirit Week because Northern's Black Student Union Club is coordinating it, end quote. The email goes on to state that the club is like any other extracurricular club run by students and quote overseen by a staff advisor so then that means somebody was educated to make sure that everything was done in decency and order who was that staff advisor so i'd rather not share that information what i would like you to know is when we are working with any of our organizations and they do have events or things that they would like to plan they work directly with us so along with the advisor they come to us we give them feedback we ask them the why and just kind of get through get to their thinking school principal amana Moyes and the superintendent stand by their students and their choice of theme days the reasoning behind that was number one to honor his life and the things that he had gone through in the loss of his life. Also, a perspective for our students who are not of color. So many students of ours who are of color, they have to think twice about what they're going to wear. But Chris and others we spoke with off camera say that's just a way for the administration to pass the blame. Recognizing, yeah, maybe we should have done some contextual um, organization and explanation prior to advertising for our Spirit Week. So going into next year, that's something that we'll definitely keep in mind. Moyes says the school has held several other Black History Month events to honor the African-American community, including... They went on and talked about a historical figure on our broadcasting show. We have posters up that the students have created. We're having a Black um, Student Union Assembly at the end of the month to kind of culminate everything. And after learning of the initial controversy surrounding next week's themes, Moyes said the school added an educational broadcast show Thursday morning morning to educate the student body on the reasoning behind each theme day and the significance and tragedy of Trayvon Martin's death. The district has all the responsibility of directing our children in the right direction. They're two, they're educators. Let's educate. Now, Chris says that even her daughters didn't know the full story behind the death of Trayvon Martin. She's working to do better with her daughters at home, but insists that schools should always include an educational component to every event, Spirit Week, and Honorable Month that they recognize as well. Sue.